Now we will see an example of multiplication of four digit numbers. Let us take a number 3959 multiplied by 1599. Now as my first step, I will multiply 9 into 9 that is 81. I will write 81 as 8 carry over and 1. As a second step, 9 into 5 plus 9 into 9. So here I get 126. The 12 will be carry over and 6 I will write in the first row. As a third step, 9 into 9 plus 9 into 5 plus middle column that is 5 into 9. I get 171. 17 is a carryover and 1. As a fourth step, I will do 9 into 3 plus 9 into 1 plus 9 into 9 plus 5 into 5. So my answer is 142. So 14 is a carryover and 2 on the first row. As a fifth step, 9 into 3 plus 5 into 1 plus 9 into 5. So my answer is 77. So 7 as a carryover and 7 in first row. As a sixth step, I will do 3 into 5 plus 9 into 1. So my answer is 24 to 4. And as my last step, I will do the last column that is 3 into 1 is 3. Now I have to add traditionally 1, 14, I got 14 again. Here I get 20, 23, then 13, at last I get 6. So my final answer is 6330441. Let us take one more example of four digits 2587 multiplied by 3601. As a first step, I will do 7 into 1, that is 7. I can write 07. Step 2 8 into 1 multiplied by 7 into 0. Now, whenever 0 comes, when you are doing calculation in mind, you need not consider. So I write 08. Now third step, 5 into 1 plus 6 into 7 plus 8 into 0. Now whenever 0 is there, you need not calculate. So my answer here is 47. So I write 4 and 7. As a fourth step, I will do 1 into 2 plus 3 into 7 plus 5 into 0 plus 6 into 8. So here my answer is 71. As a next step, 2 into 0 plus 3 into 8 plus 5 into 6. I get 54. So 5 is carry over and 4 in the first row. As a next step, I will do 2 into 6 plus 3 into 5 here, my answer is 27. 2 is carry over here. Now the last step, that is last column, 2 into 3, I get 6. Let us write 6 here. Let us add them up. So I get 7, 8, 7, 5, 11, 13 and last is 9. So my final answer is in just two steps because all this calculation what you see on the right hand side 
are to be done in mind and not on the paper. So, my final answer is 9315787.